Hi guys, it's Tisha Green here at LA Vision Properties. It is June 2020, so you know it's time for our monthly Baldwin Hills Real Estate Report. Now, after being subject to three months of this shelter-in-place order due to the global pandemic and all of the disruption that we've all been experiencing as a result of current events, who isn't ready for some good news? Well, this month, I am pleased to be able to bring some to you. But before I do that, I want to share a quote from a research associate at Harvard University. And he says, the housing industry has often led our economy out of recessions because recessions lead to a decline in interest rates that lowers borrowing costs for both home buyers and builders, which makes home buying more attractive and spurs home building and the many related consumer goods industries that drive GDP growth. So what that means is that it's going to be the housing market and home sales that bring our economy out of these tumultuous times. And I'm really excited to be able to report that we are seeing strong indications that we are on the road to recovery. So what we had reported last month was a really dramatic dip in listings and a dramatic dip in median home prices. But what we are seeing now is more sellers coming into the marketplace and being comfortable with putting their listings on the market. Now we're still seeing a dearth of listings and we need more, but it is encouraging to see a rise in listings month over month. On a national level, I think we rose about uh, 37%. That is tracking with what we're seeing here in Los Angeles. There was about a 40% month over month rise in new listings and a 30% rise in listings going into contract and getting under escrow. So that is encouraging encouraging to see. What's also encouraging to see is our price points are starting to inch up as well. So last month I had reported in the neighborhoods that uh, are inclusive of Baldwin Hills Estates and surrounding Baldwin Hills Estates, we saw about a 20% drop in the median home price. Well, what we saw this month was a 3% crawl out of that drop. And what's also encouraging to note is that that median home price, which uh, incidentally in the area is about 932,000 is the median home price. It's a little higher here in Baldwin Hills Estates, but 932,000 is the median home price in the surrounding area, in this area and surrounding areas. That represents a 13% increase over where we were at this time last year. And that is actually outpacing the increase that we're seeing in the greater Los Angeles area. And I would just attribute that to the fact that this is a untapped area that is, you know, really kind of ripe for uh, uh, real estate investment. And so we're seeing a lot of people start to recognize and um, come to, to, to these neighborhoods as a really great value and an alternative to buying, you know, further west or further north. Um, so what we are seeing here in Baldwin Hills Estates is kind of tracking with that. The last closing that we had was a single family uh, home on Don Perfurio, and it was an investor as well. So we're talking about that, you know, kind of influx and in investment in our area. And it closed, it was a four bedroom, four bath at 2623 square feet, which closed at a million four fifty. So that's the highest closing year to date here in Baldwin Hills Estates. And then also I want to point out that there are quite a bit of listings that are on the market right now and so that's kind of encouraging too because we had a really slow start this year there's only been four closings and at this time typically we probably are at least you know double if not triple that figure in terms of closed sales so it's encouraging to see that there's some more inventory coming on the market and another investment property or investor flip that I wanted to highlight uh, was the one that just came on within the last couple of weeks at 4253 Hillcrest Drive. It's a three bedroom, four bath, and it has been meticulously and beautifully remodeled in a really clean and contemporary style. And it even offers um, some city views as well from the north side of the property. So that's listed at a million three sixty five. So that's one to check out. Also, I wanted to kind of uh, take note of the few condos that are both on the market, recently closed and one pending. Those are all in the $600,000 range, above or below, depending on the um, condition of the property. But that's about the lowest price point that you're gonna see to be able to get into the Baldwin Hills market. So if you wanna live in this beautiful neighborhood, you might wanna consider one of those condo alternatives that are available on the market right now. If 
you need more detailed information and you want to download you know the exact addresses and the listing activity you can always get the latest baldwin hills report at bit.ly forward slash baldwin hills report and I hope that you found the market information useful. Of course, if you wanna go dive a little bit deeper and you have specific real estate questions, I am eager to be in service. And so just reach out to me and I'll look forward to setting up a virtual meeting with you or a quick call and we can go over whatever it is you like. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to keeping you updated next month.